Hey friends, family, what's going on? I have a few records to talk about. I want to thank Perry Urban. That's your screen name. I think Stuart is your real name. From Scotland. I just received um, some wonderful BCLT, Vinyl Community Love Train. Uh, that's where that came from. I don't really remember how it got started. But Perry is um, someone who uh, apparently discovered me, leaves comments often. Oftentimes I vibe with his comments, your comments. And um, then uh, you also have a band camp site. Uh, I've listened to some of your music and every time I bother to listen, and I have to say it that way because I'm, I stay pretty preoccupied with what I'm doing. But I really like I really like the music as well as um, the vibe that comes from Perry Urban. But he sent me this from Scotland. It's um, an album that he put out back in the 80s with this band called Mono Mono um, Aminoxidase. It's like the Mono um, Oxidase Mono Amine Oxidase inhibitors. Um, I know that from my work in psych, psych uh, enzymes. Um, this is really pretty cool. MAO called Subtle Sabotage. He tells me the entire story here about um, the perils of trying to get this album made and what happened to the cover, why the cover was unusable. And uh, this was uh, recorded in 1982, released in 1983. And I really like this. It's got a lo-fi charm to it. And it's not, it's, um, it does several things, you know. It's like uh, there's a rudimentariness to the music in general where you can tell that the folks aren't, aren't really heavily skilled players. But it has... Heart. I really like this. Um, there's the uh, labels. Kind of starts off kind of punky and then it gets into some of these um, shorter um, kind of uh, semi melodic pieces. <coughs> In the notes, uh, Perry shares where it's right after this talking, they go into a nice piece. But they had sent tapes to like cans management and places and nothing ever happened, but I can see why um, y you thought to send this to them. I like it. There's a couple tracks on here that kind of noodle on and on, you know. But uh, as you explained, you know, this was um, a work in progress. You know, you're young and discovering things. And that's part of the charm of, and the what's good about it is that some things really work and other things it's like, ah, well, this was okay. You know, nice idea, didn't really do so much. But Perry Urban, thank you so much for sending this to me. This is just the kind of, um, this is a wonderful addition to my collection. Something really unique, kind of rare. Um, I don't know how many of these you pressed up. I don't know that I would have gotten a copy of it any other way. So, um, you can hear it. It's neat. Sounds great. You know, it's got that almost Eno-esque cluster, noi, the, the Eno cluster um, harmonia feel comes to mind here. I mean, you could you could uh, liken it to another maybe English electronic uh, scene, but that's what comes to mind to me right away is the German school. I like this. Thanks again, Perry. I do. Also today in the mail, I got this. I don't remember, um, I, there was no note, so I don't know the name of the person, but I do remember that someone had 
said to me they wanted to send me something, and I said, sure, this must be it. I believe the band is Equal Stones, and the album is called Transgression. And it's on the, the Hidden Vibes label. This just came today. This looks to be brand new, a new release. Very nice, I'm very pleased. <coughs> My initial listen to this, this is um, Ambient Drone. Oh, it's really pressed nicely. Beautifully pressed. Really, really nice pressing. Heavy 180 gram probably. Um, looks like it's pressed by the people that usually did all the recommended records pressings over in England. Um, I should probably come back to this and mention it again, but my first listen was definite thumbs up, droney, ambient, really good. I mean, you know, it has that presence. Equal Stones, Transgression. Whoever sent this to me, thank you so much. And I, I do have to listen to it more and will likely spit, speak of it again. But I, I would recommend this. This is Ambient, Drone, really good. My first impression is this is good. Someone had asked on an older video, well, on one of my Frank Zippo, Zappa videos, if I would talk about Andre Lewis, and um, I will a little bit. You know, there's not much that I can say. Andre Lewis passed away a few years ago. He was a keyboardist from Omaha, Nebraska, or at least ways he lived it for a time. And he, he had an interesting career. I mean, he's done some notable things, like he's, you know, performed live with The Who, he was a member of Frank Zappa's band. Um, he ended up recording on the Motown label. I think he put out three solo albums for Motown. I have two of them called Mandre, Mandre or Mandre. Here's M3000. Is this where Outkast, is this where he got his idea for his name? The music is very electronic almost coming unhinged at times well on this one m3000 reminds me a lot of um you know the early work of yellow magic orchestra i do like this now when i was a kid did i know about andre lewis i, I did but my memories are are fuzzy i do remember being around a musicians just slightly older than me or about my age who were good players but to me they were you know they were seemed kind of um, dangerous um, intense um, even unapproachable in some ways just m mainly because of me not them So I didn't actually meet Andre Lewis until sometime in the 90s. And he had, <clears throat> to my understanding, he was basically retired or semi-retired, was living back in Omaha and playing for his church. I was in a band, a, a reggae band called Righteous Vibration. And um, he played around with the idea of joining the band joining the band for a while and he rehearsed with us for a bit but it came to nothing because because the band was a reggae band you know obviously there would be some you know some herbal um, use involved at times and um, we found it unfortunately that um, Andre however else you can describe it definitely had damage from all those years in the music business and all of whatever he did because he would be fine until he smoked some weed and he's one of those people who I haven't I've only seen met and worked with a few folks 
where it gets this bad where they just pretty much come fall apart when they get a, a buzz it's like it's a trigger it, it just it's like it just opens up the, the box and everything just falls out what I do remember of the few practices that we had before the rot started to take set in was how magnificent Andre was how he picked up on everything it's not even so much that he picked up on stuff it's like he already knew everything you know this reggae band we played um, almost all covers you know a lot of Marley Mighty Diamonds and uh, stuff like that and uh, Andre would just come in and blow but unfortunately I do remember um, when we the band was kind of falling apart maybe or I can't quote this now. I know that Andre had to stop rehearsing because he would just get too loose. He couldn't focus, and then he would um, become undisciplined, you know, after getting high. He would just play anything and everything that he felt like, and he would start to babble. Bless the man's memory. May he rest in peace. I'll tell you what, even though I never played on stage with Andre, I'm extremely um, pleased to say that I had that opportunity to make music with him, even if it was just in a rehearsal space. So that's what I can say about Andre Lewis. Um, I can't look it up right now, but I'm thinking that Andre is one of the few people that Frank Zappa recorded one of Andre's compositions. If I got that right, I have to look it up, but I'm thinking that might be right, that Frank Zappa's band recorded an Andre Lewis composition. I don't think these are hard to find and not expensive, and I recommend these. These Mandre or Mandre albums on Motown. Let me pop one of these open right quick, because I think that's pretty darn cool. As the MAO continues to play in the background, once again, I want to thank you, Perry. I'll say Perry, because I'm not sure if it's Stuart. I think that's your actual name. Thank you so much for sending this to me. There we have Mondre on Motown. So, I would say this. I'm having to wait. The wait for Murphy Vinyl is long. It's excruciating. A number of factors are probably feeding into it. That final vinyl production is up, is part of it. The time of year. Halloween and other and other holidays, excuse me, holidays coming up. I wouldn't be surprised if my order has gotten bumped for people who have larger, more important, bigger paying orders. So it would sure be nice to hear about Murphy being on the way next week. Obviously not this week. This week is over. But um Besides that, I've been um, <coughs> recovering from this um, virus, you know, uh, working on some music projects for some visual artists that I've met through the Bemis Contemporary uh, um, Company here in Omaha. And that's been really, really uh, rewarding, challenging, and it pays, and that's, that's nice couple more things before I forget Orenda Fink who is on the Saddle Creek label her latest album is Blue Dream she has a brand new video out um, it's a takeoff on science fiction movies like um, there's recreation of Psycho and uh, I think is it Close Encounters or one of those movies and uh another movie where just some famous scenes are recreated and um, it's really done well I'll, I'll leave a link but there's also there I also get a cameo in the mo in the in the video um, the magazine this one here that you see behind me on the wall is laying um, in a scene it's just you can miss it but it's it's there in the scene the magazine is laying on the floor it just is so nice. Just, you know, that little nod. I appreciate that from the video director, Aaron Gum. 
It's a friend of mine, and I also play with him in, in Dreamer. So I'll leave the link, you know. It's a good song. I think Arenda's album is one of the best albums of 2014, although there's a lot of albums I haven't heard from 2014 all the way through. I think I'll leave it pretty much here. I just really am hoping that I have news on Murphy really soon. Hopefully I could be making a video here real soon where I'm showing it to you and telling you I'm, I'm starting to send them out. 